Roger Ailes, the polarizing ex-Fox News chief, has died. He was 77. The network confirmed the news Thursday morning on Fox and Friends, reading a family statement from Ailes' widow, Elizabeth. I am profoundly sad and heartbroken to report that my husband Roger Ailes passed away this morning. Roger was a loving husband to me, to his son Zachary, and a loyal friend to many. He was also a patriot, profoundly grateful to live in a country that gave him so much opportunity to work hard, to rise, and to give back. During a career that stretched over more than five decades, his work in entertainment, in politics, and in news affected the lives of many millions. And so, even as we mourn his death, we celebrate his life. Ailes was a political consultant who helped elect Republican Presidents Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan, and George H.W. Bush before joining Rupert Murdoch's empire as the hard-charging founding CEO of the Fox News Channel. He wielded outsized power in U.S. politics and culture and also introduced viewers to Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly, Megyn Kelly, and other right-leaning hosts who drew huge audiences. In the process, he became notorious among progressive activists who wanted to discredit him and his top-rated network. Ailes resigned as CEO of Fox News in the wake of numerous sexual harassment allegations last summer. For much more on the life and career of Roger Ailes, head to THR.com for full coverage as this story develops. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Paul Costabile. This episode of The Hollywood Reporter News is brought to you by American Airlines, Hollywood's favorite airline.